What's up everyone? Bob over at RC Auto Works. Uh, I want to make a quick short video here. I want to really keep it simple and talk about engine management and tuning when it comes to Honda and Acura. We get this uh, question a lot asked here, um, phone calls, emails, messages. We get it on a daily basis. Uh, someone will call us up and say, hey, can you tune my Honda or Acura? And we reply back and ask, sure, what kind of engine management do you have? And that's where we lose a lot of people. People don't know what they have, if they have anything, um, or what's available for their car. So I wanna make a quick video here, keep it simple. Uh, first video is gonna be just basic intro to engine management. If you already know about it, you know, probably not the best video for you to watch. Watch some of these other videos coming up here. Um, I want to start pretty, it's going to be a two part video. We're going to talk about newer cars, 2002 and up, newer Hondas and whatnot. And then we'll talk about the older Hondas. Um, and we're going to just get right into it for, you know, first and foremost here. Um, Flash Pro, not sure if you heard about it and whatnot. Um, Hondata produces it. Um, anything 2002 and up, this is what you're going to want to look for. Um, it's a simple device. One side is going to plug into your scanner port. That one here, already open down here. One side is going to plug into your scanner port. The other side is going to come out with the wire and it's going to plug directly into your laptop. At that point, you download the software and you could mess with your vehicle or you can simply bring it to us and we can dial tune it. Um, so this device right here is about six, I think it's 690 or 695, I can't recall. Um, real simple plug and play device. Um, if you don't ever plan on messing around with it yourself, uh, the device I just showed you is actually a Flash Pro dealer version, which allows us to basically license your vehicle so we can tune it on Flash Pro. That costs 350 bucks uh, for the license, so it's something else to look into and consider because you're going to save uh, a good amount of money. And if you know, once once we tune your car, even if you have this, you can unplug it. And you don't need it. It doesn't need to be plugged in at all times. Uh, once we've saved the tune to your ECU, uh, your computer on your car, you're good to go. So, you know, might be something to look forward to with that, uh, that, that, that license. If Flash Pro's not out there for your car, I know they don't support some models. Uh, I know the S2000 prior to 06, they don't, they don't support with the Flash Pro. I know the Acura RSX, they don't support. They have another uh, piece of equipment called K-Pro. Um, you can look into that too. We'll provide some links down below. Basically, K-Pro though is not a plug and play type deal. Um, it's a little circuit board that you have to have soldered into your computer. And if you don't know how to solder, um, professional is gonna have to install it for you. So it's not as easy. It's a little bit more complicated. Uh, the software is pretty much the same deal. It's just getting started and getting up. So basically, if you got a 2002 and newer vehicle, this is what you're gonna wanna look for. Um, for that setup. Now, as we start talking about the older cars, and I have these ECUs, uh, computers set up, um, we're gonna talk about chipped ECUs, we're gonna talk about uh, Honda S300. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit more in depth on that because not a lot of people, you might have heard the tar term, you might have heard someone say, well, you need a chipped ECU or you, you, know, you need a S300, but have no clue what it is. So I'm gonna make this simple, I'm gonna just go right in line here, uh, S300. Um, basically what this is, and this is what I was kind of talking about, the K-Pro, a uh, little circuit board that you're going to socket your computer over here, and I'm going to talk about that here shortly, and then this will plug right into it. There is a cable here that comes out, and it plugs up into your laptop. Nice and simple. After you have this installed in your computer, it takes seconds to hook up your laptop and either tune your vehicle or data log. That's going to be the big thing here, too. Um, the pros and cons over a chip DCU and, say, an S300. Um, if you're doing any kind of racing, even if you don't know what you're looking at, but you want a data log, maybe you have a race on the weekend and, you know, your tuner can't make it to be trackside, but you want to record some of those runs, Sim you know, you press a button, it records it, and you can send it off to him, you know, directly. He can look at it, you know, within minutes. So S300 is nice for that feature. So if you're a weekend racer, you're you know, a little bit more than just driving your car daily, something to definitely look into, because it does have a lot of nice features too. I'm not gonna go into it in this video. You can look it up too, but you know, so that, that's a nice option. I'm gonna stand up here now and I'm gonna show you what a chip DCU is, what a stock computer looks like too, um, so you have an understanding about that. 
grab the phone right now and bring it on over here. So basically, you're going to have all these computers here, and I'm going to start and make this very simple. This is what a, an OBD1 Honda computer looks like. Um, if you're OBD2, let's say you got a 2000 Honda Civic, or let's say you have a 1990 Honda Civic, you have to convert to OBD1, or you got to run a standalone. I'm not going to get into standalones right now. It's a little bit more in depth. If you know what a standalone is, then I really don't need to talk about this video. If you, you know, you're, you're doing like a full race car build, you can look into standalone. We're keeping it simple for now. Um, so yeah, this is what a stock computer looks like. This is what it looks like open up. You're going to see that there's no chip here. This is where a chip would normally go. This computer right here is a chip DCU. You can see the chip right here. It's got a nice little zip socket. Simply flip the switch up or down. Take the chip right out. And you're good to go. Here's, the, here's what the chip looks like. Let me pull it out here. That's what the little chip looks like as the camera tries to focus. Um, and basically, how we have to burn that chip is we have a device over here. Um, what we tune on and chip on and whatnot is, is Neptune. This is going to be the RTB, or RTP sorry, Neptune board. Uh, this has a cable, just like the S300 has over here. Here's an S300 that's installed and it's got the connection here. This has a cable as well. This is going to run to our laptop and we are able to make live changes while we're dyno tuning. Uh, when we're done with it, we save the file to our laptop, and then we have this little guy over here, a chip burner. We bring a little chip over here. It's going to sit nicely inside this chip burner, and we take the tune, and we burn it to a chip. This is where, you know, you might have heard people say, I want a base map, or I need a base map. This is pretty much how they're created. I mean, this hooks up to our laptop, too, on this end. We burn the chip and you're pretty much set to go. Um, the big downside with chip DCUs is if you have one, there's going to be no connection for easy data logging and whatnot. Um, if you have one of these devices, then you can data log, but at the same time, uh, the S300 is available. The S300 has a couple more options to look into. You're almost around the same price. Um, so, I mean, if I were to you know, recommend anybody something, it would be the S300. Um, they have some nice add-ons and whatnot, like the coil on plug setup, the traction control, and whatnot. So here's a little more detailed look of the S300. That little circuit board pops right out because we have the socket already inside. Um, it's got a socket, it's a little bit different than this, but it just plugs right into the ECU. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much in a nutshell. You have your chip DCUs, you have what we tune on for chip DCUs called Neptune. Um, you have S300. You have the Flash Pro for newer cars. Um, I mean, and that's that's pretty much your your Hondas from '88, even if you got a prior Honda, all the way up to 2015, 16, 17. Uh, the new Tension Hondas that are coming out. This is what they're all running on. Um, and we'll talk a little bit too more about different manufacturers and models. Uh, such as for Nissan, all the newer cars though, switching over to something easy like this. So hopefully that explains some stuff for you. If not, I'll provide an email and our phone number. We're here pretty much Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday sometimes too. You can give us a call or you can email us. We're here to help. Um, no question is too small or too, you might think it's stupid and whatnot, but you know, in reality, Ask away. You got to start somewhere. This is where we all started. We've, I've been doing this now for a little bit. Um, probably close to 15 years or so. I'm going to work on getting a better mic too for this camera. I know it's a little echoey. I apologize for that. But that's it in a nutshell. I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, yeah. Hopefully that helped some of you guys out. Leave some comments below, shoot us an email, give us a phone call. I watched such and such video, but I got a question. Give us a call. We're here to help. 708-599-5884. We'll provide the link down below. Emails rcautoworks at gmail.com. If you're local to us, stop in anytime. See if I'm here. I'd be more than willing to help you out and talk to you and you know, answer any questions you got. Thanks for watching. I'm still gonna send it. <laughs>